In this video, how to set up the Nighthawk X6S Mesh Wi-Fi Extender. The best permanent location for your extender is just inside the edge of your router's Wi-Fi range. If your router supports 802.11k, you will also enjoy seamless roaming from one wireless area to another without interruptions or reconnections. During initial setup, place the extender close to the router and make sure both are powered up and that both have completed their boot-up sequences. Press the WPS button on the router and then press the WPS button on the back of the extender. When you press the WPS button on your router, the router will listen for up to two minutes for incoming WPS messages. You will only have two minutes to press the WPS button on the back of your extender. When the WPS button is pressed on the extender, a unique set of identifying data is prepared and transmitted. This initiates a negotiation for a secure wireless connection between the router and the extender. Once the connection is established and secured, the router will forward the SSID information and other parameters to the extender, information required for seamless roaming. The process takes a few minutes. Please be patient. Once the process completes, take the extender to its intended location. After it boots up, pay attention to the indicator lights. They will indicate if the extender is at its best distance from your router. A red light here indicates a poor connection to your router. Move the extender closer to the Wi-Fi source. An amber light means that the connection to your wireless router is okay. A solid white light here means that the extender has secured the best possible connection to your wireless router. A solid white light here indicates that the 5 GHz bug hall is in use. If this light is off, it indicates that the 2.4 GHz bug hall is used instead. The bug hall is the dedicated connection between your extender and your wireless router. The only way to get the bug hall back to using 5 GHz is to repeat the WPS process from the start. If you are satisfied with the backhaul speed and signal strength, you can simply look for your usual Wi-Fi and connect to it. You can also initiate WPS from the GUI on the router. Log into your router and go to Advanced. And then click on WPS Wizard. Click on Next, and then on the button with the lock. This action starts the same process we saw earlier. You have two minutes to press the WPS button on your extender. Once the process is complete, you will see a notification informing you of the device that was added to your wireless network infrastructure. Regardless of which process you followed, all that remains is to connect to your usual Wi-Fi to enjoy the freedom of seamless roaming. For this and other topics, visit us at community.netgear.com.